Here we have uh, an electric shock machine made by the Advance Company in uh, likely the late 1930s or into the uh, early 1940s. The uh, machine has a uh, penny entry here in the center and it uh, has the uh, name of the company. You see there the Advance Machine Company <coughs> in Chicago. Overall condition of the machine is really excellent. Look at the uh, original plating on both of the handles, original lock uh, with the key. Uh, the machine does not have any uh, major scratches or dents or any damage. The uh, front uh, scale, the metal scale is in fine condition and the original top sign with the original paper is uh, in really great condition. And as you see this was billed a little bit as a uh, quack medicine device to improve your health uh, and purify the blood but the bottom line is uh, by the later 1930s and 1940s <clears throat> these machines really had gotten to be sort of skill or uh, toughness games to see just how much of a jolt you could take and uh, this one is in excellent working condition the interior is in uh, really fine shape unfortunately a lot of these machines succumb to heavy corrosion because of the old-fashioned batteries that were inside but um, this one is uh, is really a gem inside let's go ahead and play it what you'll hear after we put the penny in and turn the handle is a combination of two noises one is a clock mechanism an escapement mechanism that's ticking down that is what turns the electrical system on and off inside and then the secondary buzz is the electrode uh, that is associated with the uh, capacitor, basically the big capacitor that gets created uh, to give you the jolt that you feel. So uh, we'll go ahead and put our penny in. We hear a drop and when we let go we hear both buzzes and uh, <laughs> it, uh, certainly does give us a, uh, a nice uh, Nice uh, jolt. <laughs> or, uh, ah, I can't quite get it past the 200 mark, but uh, gives a nice strong shock and um, has a uh, new battery inside that is a uh, match to the uh, historically um, correct models. And you hear the buzzer stopped and the timer is just about to finish timing down, and now the machine is ready for another cycle. So, this is the Advance shock machine. from the 1930s, early 1940s.